oh, hello. Um, so we're going to start the new unit's trigonometry, but uh, we have to do one little subunit. So we're going to talk about circles, arcs, and sectors. So what is a circle? What do you think a circle is? Well, a circle is a set of points um, equidistant from a fixed point called the center. So a circle, like everything in this class, um, everything that we make actually starts is a set of points, so it's a line, a parabola. Um, so we have the center here, and all these points, that's the idea of a circle, it's a bunch of points. Um, let's find some things. A chord is a segment um, whose endpoints are on the circle. So, cir circle, sorry. So we have point A and point B, and this is a chord. So AB is a chord. Okay, um, next, diameter. What do you think a diameter is? Well, a diameter is a chord that passes through this, that, sorry, a chord that passes through the center. So we can draw a chord, the endpoints are on the, uh, the circle, but it, all, it has to pass through the center to be considered a diameter. Next term, well, you know what the next term is, radius. Now, remember, this is geometry. These are geometric terms, so they're things. So what exactly is the radius? So some kids might say, oh, well, it's, it's half the diameter. And I say, maybe, but the problem is, this is half the diameter, and you, you would all say, Mr. L, that's not a radius. So what is the proper definition of radius? A radius is a segment whose endpoints are the center and a point on the circle. So this is not a radius. This, we'll call this OE. OE is a radius, so I'm sorry, so CD is a diameter, and OE is a radius. Now yes, it turns out that the radius is half the diameter or uh, half the diameter, or the diameter is two times the radius. What else do we want to talk about? Well, when we talk about circles, we talk about circumference and area. So the circumference is the distance around the circle, distance around the circle, and we know that formula to be 2 pi r or, or uh, pi d. And we know the area is the, uh, the space um, inside the circle. And that's 2 pi r squared. It's generally, we never refer to the area in terms of the diameter, although. Maybe we should, but that's not necessary. So, sorry, this word is circumference. Circumference. What else do I want to talk about? Um, arcs. Well, what is an arc? I want you to imagine that the circle over there is, is a piece of glass, and I drop it on the floor. Those pieces are arcs, so it's parts of the circle.
So we have three arcs we're interested in. We're interested in a semicircle, a minor arc, and a major arc. So a semicircle is an arc um, whose endpoints are on uh, are on the diameter. So let's take a look at the arc, the, the idea of the arc. So let's see. So we have the circle over here, and we have so this. Let's see. Imagine this is the diameter. Let's say this this is the diameter. So the idea here is that this part, that arc is a semicircle. Now we could call this AB. And so we call this like arc AB. Now you might say, well, how do I know, you know, how do we know if it's a, a major or a minor? Well, first of all, a minor arc. Let's see, let me bring the camera down. Let's see. What is this? Let's see. A minor arc. Let's see. A minor arc is less than the semicircle. And we're generally going to use two letters. A major arc. Arc is greater than the semicircle. And we're going to use three letters. Now, what, this is not really important for IB, but just for today, let's say we have a circle. And I say that we have like AB. And the question you say is, well, Mr. Adler, how do we differentiate between like the minor and the major? So if, if I call both of these AB, you may say, well, how do I know which direction to go in? Well, that's hence the third letter. So we'll put a third letter in there, let's call it C. And so you'll know that like minor arc is AB and major arc is ACB. Sorry. So you know like how to go. It's a major arc, ACB, no, I'm sorry, ACB. Okay, we're back. The next thing I want to talk about is the central angle. Okay, the idea for, we're going to be doing big time in, in trigonometry, in, in IB trigonometry, is we're going to be looking at something called a unit circle. So a unit circle, so a, a unit circle is a circle with a radius of one. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting angles inside of it. And a central angle is an angle, is an angle whose center, whose vertex, sorry, whose vertex is the center is the center of a circle and whose rays um let's call it say end at points on the circle. And we say we say that the angle, the central angle, is subtended by the arc. Now, subtended is an old school word. You're not going to be asked there or anything like that. But I, I like the word because it's like, it just makes sense. So what's going on here? What's, what's this whole thing? Well, we have a circle, right? And I said, we always, whenever we draw a circle, we always put the center. And I said, it's an angle whose vertex is the center and whose rays just stop at the circle. Okay. So let's say this is the center is zero and we have an A and B. And we say that arc AB 
subtends angle AOV. Right? Now, the interesting thing is we, we have to look at this arc now and its relation, because it turns out you learned you might have learned in geometry, although I'm not sure, that the arc, the measurement of the arc, the measurement of the arc is equal to the measurement of arc AOV. Now, that should be weird because you're like, well, that's an arc, that's part of the circle, it's a circumference, it's a length. And angles are measured by degrees. Well, we can also we can, we can measure arcs two ways. We're going to say the sum of the arcs. So we need to talk about um, the measurements of the arc versus the length of the arc. Now we will we're going to make a, a lot of e easier tomorrow, but today we need to talk about. It. The measure of the arc versus the length of the arc. Well, a circle, we're going to say it's 360 degrees versus 2 pi r. So we say the measurement of a circle is 360 degrees, and the length of the circle, the word we use in circumference, is 2 pi r. So the measurement of the arc is like part of, is like a, a part of, 360 versus the part of the circumference. Circumference. So, so we can say that AB, so for example, so for example, if I give you this circle here and uh, I show, I say that this is 90 degrees, you would say, and let's say the radius is five, and it's a nine. So the question is, what is the measurement of arc AB? And you would say, oh, the measurement is 90 degrees. That's the measurement, because this, the, the arc that subtends the central angle is equal to the, the measurement of the angle. No, well, well, we can move on then. So you might say, you might say, la, 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 hey, Mr. Adler, what is the length of that arc? What's the length of AB? What do you think? Well, you can use your logic. You can say, hey, you know what, Mr. Adler? I know that, um, I know that you can make a ratio. I know that 90 is to 360 as the arc is to 2 pi r. Or easier, you know, so you can do the ratio. So you say, fine, 1 fourth equals AB over 10 pi. So you know that arc AB is 10 pi over 4 or you know, 2.25, or 5 over 2, 5 over 2 pi, 2.55. Or you can just say, hey, you know what, Mr. Adler? The length, the length of the arc is simply the angle over 360 times 2 pi r. That's it, and, and that's the formula you can use. Right, my pen's running out. So. So I'll give you another example. How about this? So here's another. Here's a here's a circle, and here's sixty degrees, and let's say the radius is eight. Or you define the length of uh, find length of a d. Okay. Well, we know that. I'm going to say, you know what, I don't want all 360, I want 60 over 360 times the total circumference. And so that's, what is that, 16 pi over 6, which is 8 pi over 3. And this is an actual distance, it's a little bit more than 8, because pi is 3.14, 3.14 divided by 3 is a little bigger than 1. 
I'm a little bit bigger than one times eight is a little bigger than eight. Hey Siri, what is eight pi divided by three? Eight times three point one four one five divided by three is about eight point three seven seven five. Eight point three eight units, centimeters, inches, feet, whatever. Um, let's do a couple more problems with this. How about I tell you that, um, I'm telling you that in the next circle, let's do another circle here, and uh, we do another degree. I don't know if that's correct. Let me tell you that this is, how about we do um, 50 degrees. This is seven, this, arc is 17 pi, and I want to know what the radius is. What do you think? What do you think? Well, we know that 17 pi is equal to 50 over 360 times 2 pi r. Solve for r. Let's see, the pi's nicely go out. Um, the zeros go out. The 2's go out. So we have 17 times 18 divided by 5 equals r, whatever that is. Hey Siri, 18 times 17 divided by 5. 18 times 17 divided by 5 is 61.2. So the radius of this circle is 61.2. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Let's try another example. How about, okay, here's one. Here's a circle. I'm not really sure what the measurement of theta is. It could be obtuse. It could be reflex. I don't know. But the question is, and I know that what I have here, I have the radius is 12, and this arc that I'm going to call S is... 10 pi, and the question is, how do I find what that rotation is? So I want you to kind of think about these words I'm using. I want you to imagine that, you know, the ray is kind of like separated. That's kind of the idea of an angle. You start here, and the ray like moved around in a rotation. Well, once again, this is just algebra. I know that some part of 360 times the circumference is equal to 10 pi, and therefore it's just a bunch of algebra. So what do we have here? Let's see, I can cancel. I, I'm going to get rid of the pi, um, knock this out. So what do I have? Theta equals, um, let's see, 5. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see, the, the, this is 12 and 30. Oh, so x equals 150 degrees. Nice. Next. Well, we found the, the, we use S for arc length, but we could also find the, the sector. So this region, sorry, we might want to, we might be interested in finding, well, let's start with a 90 degree angle. We might want to find this whole region. This is known as a sector, and it's part of a circle. Oops. Sector is part of of a circle um, bound, bounded uh, by the rays of the central angle and uh, the subtended angle, subtended arc. So this whole region is known as a sector, and we can easily find the area of that sector because once again, it's all given. Once again, if it's a part, if it's a central angle, for example, if this is not well, let me take that out. If it's a central angle, um, it's part of the circle. We just need to know this angle. So let's now use this example. Uh, let's use this as an example. I'm not sure where it's like five or six. Let's say this is a 90 degree angle, so the central angle is 90 degrees, and I'm telling you that 
what do I have here? I'm telling you that the, for this example, the radius is eight. So the question is, what is the area of the sector? So you say, fine, the area is equal to, I know that 90 over 360 is one fourth of the circle, and I know the area is pi r squared. Pi r squared. So I simply have eight, what do I have? I have a 16, no, whoops, I apologize. 64 pi over four, which is 16 pi. And we're just let's just go through some other problems with the same idea that each of the variables might be miss, missing. Let's try another one. Let's see what I have here. And I'll show you a nifty little trick. Let's try another trick. What is this example six? Maybe, maybe I'm numbering this off. Um, what do we have here? We have, we have a circle and the central angle is 65 degrees and the radius is the radius is actually let me take that up we don't know what the angle is and the radius is 12 and the the, the area of the sector is 100 pi so the question is what is that angle what is that angle and you say okay no big deal I know that theta over 360 times pi r squared is equal to 100 pi. And I've made it easier for you because I've left the pi's in there. It's just an algebra problem. Take out the plot pi's. Um, and therefore we have theta is equal to 360 times 100 divided by 144. Obviously, this would be a part two question. Let's get our calculators. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. 360 times 100 divided by 144. 360 times 100 divided by 144 is 250. Okay, so this is 250 degrees. So this diagram probably looks like this. So then we know this is 250 degrees. And so we're probably, it's probably this region with a radius of 12 and an area of 100 pi. Let's try another one. Let's see. Um, I have let's, seven. And so I have, how are we doing for time? Nice. So let's look at this one. We have a circle which has a central angle of 65 degrees. We don't know the radius, and I'm telling you that the area of the sector is 25 pi. Well, take a second to, to write, put an equation together. Let's say, okay, so you say fine. 65 divided by 300 times pi r squared equals 25 pi. Ugh, it's a quadratic, but that's okay because this because the numbers are so big, it's obviously going to be. Um, sorry, it's going to be a calculator. A calculator problem. You, maybe you can try to do it by a little bit by hand. Let's see the pies go out. Um, I mean, I could divide by five, add, but you know, the numbers are so big, and I don't have time. So it's r squared is equal to three hundred sixty times sixty five divided by 25, um, what do we have? Say, so, hey Siri, 360 times 65 divided by 25. 360 times 65 divided by 25 is 936. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Nine hundred thirty-six uh, raised to the point five. I didn't find nine hundred thirty-six point five FM on Apple Music. Hey Siri. What is the square root of nine hundred thirty-six? The square root of nine hundred thirty-six is approximately thirty point five nine four. So the radius is 30.6. Once again, these are just algebra problems. So, and yeah, okay. Last thing, let's make a connection. Let's try to make a connection between 
uh, the area and the circumference and come up with an interesting formula. So, so, da -da 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 -da. so we saw that the area, we know, we know that the, so we have a circle, okay? We have a central angle. We have theta. We have the radius r, and we have the, the arc length s, okay? Now, we have two formulas. We know that the area of the sector is equal to, right, theta over 360 times pi r squared. We also know that the length, we know that s, which is the arc length, is also theta over 360, but it is times the circumference. Well, you know what? I can manipulate these, so both of them are equal to theta over 360. So I have area of the sector over uh, pi r squared is equal to s over 2 pi r. Once again, I isolated the theta over 360 in both of these, so they're both equal to theta over 360, so I set them equal to each other. Um, in terms of the area, of the sector, this is kind of cool, I like this a lot. The area of the sector is, so how do I undo division? Multiply both sides by pi r squared, and you got the pi goes out with the pi, and one of the r's goes out with, you got split one half r s. But you know what, I'm gonna write s r. The area of the sector is equal to one half r times s, and for me, it kind of reminds me of one half the base times the height. It's kind of cool, right? And so, given the radius and the arc length, you can find the area of a sector. And so, let's say that we have, you know, some circle here, and we have, you know, I don't even know the ray, but I, I don't even know the angle here, but the rotation, but I do know that the, the radius is 15, and I know that this arc length, sorry, this is 15, I know the arc length is 9 pi, and so the area of the sector is simply 1 half 9, the arc length, and the subtended arc times the radius, and you get an answer of, 135 over 2 pi, or simply 193.3 units squared. Now, we're going to, in the next lesson, we're going to move past degrees. We're no longer going to be talking about 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 360 degrees, but you're just going to work on this homework for tonight.